Hello everyone and welcome to your latest SimpliGon tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how you can use SimpliGon's visibility culling function to reduce a mesh by prioritizing its visibility from specific camera angles. While we're using Maya for this video, remember that the SimpliGon UI is pretty much universal across all the software that we support, so you should be able to follow along with this tutorial with your chosen supported application. Visibility culling is a SimpliGon algorithm that will remove most polygons that are not visible from a set of camera views that you define. This is useful if you know an asset will only be visible from certain angles. For example, this processor works particularly well in environments such as caves, where you have lots of kit-bashed rocks placed together and lots of polygons that are not necessarily in the view of the player. Put simply, in this example, visibility culling will remove the needless polygons that are out of the camera frustum. OK, let's get stuck in. Here we have a scene in Maya, a group of rocks from our Walk in the Park video. Note the multiple cameras positioned around the rocks. Each of these cameras has quite a wide angle of view and their combined coverage makes up the part of the mesh we wish to be considered visible. Now we also have a terrain underneath. This terrain will be used to clip the geometry beneath the rocks, removing some more needless polys. To get started, I'll click the rocks, choose Add Lod Component and select an advanced aggregation template. This is because the mesh is currently made of many meshes. We want to make an aggregate mesh as well as using visibility culling. First off, under Aggregation Pipeline, I'm going to make sure Merge Geometries is ticked, as this will merge the many rocks into one and reduce the number of draw calls in the process. I'll also enable the geometry culling itself with a standard precision of 0.5. High precision means higher processing time, but should give you an even more accurate result. After this, I'll head into Visibility Settings. Here we want to enable Use Visibility Weights in Reducer. This tells the culling algorithm to use visibility as part of its calculations. Next, we click Cull Occluded Geometry. This tells SimpliGon to remove geometry that's blocked from view by a solid object, like our terrain. In order to tell SimpliGon which camera views we want to use, we need a camera selection set name. So we have to put our cameras into a selection set. I'll create a selection set from the cameras and call it Cameras, because why not? Now I'll choose Cameras in the Camera Selection Set Name dropdown. OK, now we'll make a set for the occluding objects too, so we put the terrain into a set. We'll call this set Clipping. I'll then use the Occluder Selection Set Name dropdown to select our clipping set. We will also enable Conservative Mode. This removes fewer triangles than with this setting off, but it's less likely to generate visible errors. Finally, we set our clipping group under the Geometry Cull Settings dropdown. This will allow SimpliGon to cull any polygons below the terrain. OK, now I just need to select the rocks and process. So let's pan around the original mesh quickly and see what it looked like originally. Now, if I hide the original mesh, you can see we've lost a lot of geometry down from about 10,000 triangles to about 2,900. If you're wondering why a few polys are still there on the inside, it's because one of the cameras can actually see them through a gap in the rocks. If we look on top, there are some missing polys too. These are not visible from the selected cameras. If we wanted to protect these, we'd need to add a higher camera angle that could see these polys. OK, let's bring this into Unreal. We're not doing anything complex here, but just in case, we'll go over how to import into Unreal and show the final output in context. I've got my exports from Maya here, and I'm going to simply drag the FBX into the content browser and hit Import. I'll then drag in the textures into the same folder. Now I'll quickly create a new material and then assign the textures to the relevant slots. So color into base color, normal into normal, of course. I'll then quickly apply the material to the mesh. OK, let's drop this asset into our scene. This is the exact location of where we did the same process in the Walk in the Park video. I'll just drag this into the scene and then move it into place and just fine tune the position a little bit. And there you go, of course, from the position of the level, the park, you don't need to see the back faces of these rocks. So from over here, everything looks great. We've saved over 7,000 triangles in just one asset. And just time for one little tip, as the back faces have been removed, if you click the mesh and check shadow two-sided, this will make sure that those back faces are casting a shadow, even if there's no geometry there. So there you go. We hope you've enjoyed this visibility culling tutorial. We've covered how to use camera sets to cull out of frust and polygons in Maya, as well as how to use occlusion and clipping geometry to cull polygons. We've also shown you how to bring the resulting mesh into Unreal Engine. 
For more information about our suite of tools and documentation, head to simplygone.com. Remember to hit the subscribe button and follow our social media channels to stay up to date with the latest news and tutorials from Simplygone.